Hi, I'm Karen Irvine. I'm a curator at the Museum of Contemporary Photography at Columbia College Chicago. Right now we have a show on view called This Land is Your Land, which runs from February 1st until March 22nd, 2008. This exhibition is in many ways meant to kind of take a temperature of the country during an election year, uh, and it addresses overall the theme of patriotism and how patriotism is used in the service of some of our most current and pressing issues such as healthcare, immigration, religious conservatism, and of course the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. The title of the exhibition comes from Woody Guthrie's 1940 song, classic This Land is Your Land, This Land is My Land, which was written as a response to Irving Berlin's 1938 song, God Bless America. Uh, Guthrie felt like it was way too patriotic and overzealous, and as a, someone who had grown up in the poor South, he was responding to what he thought was the over-glorification of this country, um, and trying to bring some kind of a more realistic viewpoint. The video that I'm showing here is a project that I made with my grandmother and it's sort of an interesting project because it began 13 years ago when I was, when I was a, a teenager, when I was a very young teenager, I um, was making these home movies of my grandmother where I would dress her up and have her act out scenes from war, immigration videos. I had made one video where she was a gangster and my mom and dad played opposing gangsters and they sort of negotiated a deal and then I sort of finished this work, these videos I'd made as a kid and I put them in a box and forgot about them. And then as I got older, I was making new work over the past few years with my family and dealing with these issues of narrative and performance and, and um, very like personal issues. And I sort of remembered that I was doing something similar as a child. So I went back to my parents' house and I dug through their basement and I found a box of what was about eight hours worth of these videos I made with my grandmother. So the piece that I'm showing here is um, uh, and uh, a part of that archive. It's the immigration police. I'm showing a series of work called Desert Blast and Winter Blast. Um, this picture here called Desert Fusion was from an event called Desert Blast, which happened in 1999 in the Nevada desert. It's a clandestine gathering of pyromaniacs, which um, is not something that happens on a regular basis in England. And so I was kind of fascinated to come, um, having found out about this through a, a friend of mine in America. So I came out and spent 24 hours photographing this unique kind of orgy of fire and fireworks. This picture here is called Stars and Stripes and it was taken, I was actually on top of a, a motorhome which was flying the American flag and in the background there's a group of people who are um, basically doing a kind of fire dance where they 
um, a kind of whipping up flames around this fire. This picture here is called flares and it's a timed exposure um, over a few seconds which is why the kind of flares are dropping. So I was interested in returning to America um, after 9-11. I'd heard that they had managed to kind of get permission to do this rebirth of Desert Blast which this time was called Winter Blast. But what I noticed was that it, it was almost become a rallying cry for the war on terror. So the, uh, the things that were being shown were very much using fireworks as a, as a kind of patriotic rallying cry. So for example here, this was the, the new sensation in fireworks, which was the terrorist blaster. I just wouldn't advise it. Just common sense tells me not to do it. Right. If PD comes by here, they're all in. They're real touchy about, it, about things like that now. And I can it's see their reasoning. Of, yeah, I came here one day and it was sunset and all these birds seemed to come here around this time. They do during the it summertime. Was like a, it was a lot more than this though. I think, was it later they come here later? Yeah, but when it's warmer. Oh, you right. see all the swallows and stuff over here. When it's warm, there's more birds? Yeah, not more. Well, yeah, it's just not a good idea because PD is awful, awful touchy about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, I read about some some guy getting arrested for videotaping a dam and stuff he like that. He sure did. He sure did. This program is partially supported by a grant from the Illinois Arts Council, a state agency.